Hi guys, welcome back to Bite Review. Today I thought I'd show you my new desk setup. It's 2018 um, and I thought what a better way to start it off by showing you my new setup, which is obviously all from Ikea. Um, now most of the inspiration came from uh, Reddit Battle Stations and uh, other tech YouTuber called The Tech Chap who's got a very similar setup, so I basically just copied him um, because it's a great look, but hey, let's go through it. To start with, um, this is the tabletop. It's actually a kitchen countertop called Carlby. It's from Ikea, I think it was about 60 pounds. And um, it's just the top, you don't get anything else with it. It is literally just a massive slab of wood, um, which looks pretty nice. And that's about it. It's being held up with uh, two other bits of Ikea furniture. So it's not linked or anything like that. And the good thing about Ikea furniture is it all seems to be the same height. So you can kind of do whatever you need to with it and all that sort of stuff. And it will all stay uh, level, which is great. Um, on the right hand side, I have a trestle. And the idea of the trestle was to fit the computer inside the trestle. So the computer is not on the table but um, it ended up not fitting quite as well as I thought it would um, because it didn't fit at all. And so there it is, it's gonna have to go on top, but the trestle's still quite cool. Um, I've got a kind of cable box in there from Ikea as well, which hides all the cables as best I can. There's still some work to do in terms of cable management down there because it's still a bit of a mess, but that's as best as I can do. That box is from Ikea as well. It's called a, a Cavissel or something like that, Cavissel. I'll link it all below, all of this will be linked below. On the left hand side is the drawer unit. Now this is the Alex drawer unit from Ikea. You've probably seen this a thousand times as well, but it's a great little uh, unit. Looks good, relatively cheap, and it just holds all the stuff, and it looks great too. Um, so it's actually just three bits of furniture kind of all meshed together to make something, which is what it turns out to be. And it's been a fantastic desk. It's super, super long, um, super great for filming B-roll and all that sort of stuff on it. And it's just really nice to have that kind of finished wood effect. And yeah, it just looks good. Getting started on the right hand side of the desk. Um, the first thing you're gonna see is my computer. Um, it's not massively super powered or anything like that. It's got an Intel i7-7700K, 16 gig of RAM, um, the graphics card's a bit out of date, it's a GTX 760, it's probably the next thing I have to do with upgrading. But um, it works well for me, um, I do edit a lot of 4K stuff now and it seems to cope with that just fine. Um, even though I don't really export in 4K, it's just the pleasure of filming in 4K. You get loads of added benefits with it and like zooming in and all that sort of stuff without losing quality. And this PC generally handles it just fine. It stutters here and there I will admit, but for what I do, absolutely fine. The speakers I've been using are the Harman Kardon sound sticks. I've been using these for years and years and years, even before I started YouTube or anything like that. I'm not a big fan of how they look, if I'm honest. Um, I've had some weird comments about them before, but they sound great. They're not massively true in terms of how they reproduce the sound, but I do actually really like the sound they produce. Um, I do actually have a pair, a studio pair of Yamaha HS, HS5s which I used to use all the time, but I've stopped using them so much because you have to have a sound card connected at all times and all that sort of stuff, and I just can't bother if I'm honest, and it takes up another two power slots, and yeah, I'm just not not massively keen. If I ever do any edit audio work, which I don't do so much of now, I always connect them back up, but for anything like this, I just don't really need them. Um, coming along, we've actually got this, which is a little uh, Nokia wireless charger. Now, um, loads of people buying loads of wireless chargers at the moment because of the iPhone 10 obviously came out, and uh, all these people are charging extortionate amounts of all different chargers, but it's, it's good to look back at because Nokia made them ages ago when they did the Lumia stuff. Um, and I picked up this one for a fiver and it works really well with my Galaxy S8. I can literally just plonk it on and it's just connected to my computer. So again, it doesn't really use any power or anything. It just plugs straight into USB and that's how I've been using it. Whenever I'm sitting down, I always just chuck my phone on it because it's nice to have it charging. It's just kind of useful and all that sort of thing. If we go to keyboard and mouse now, the mouse, I'm still using the uh, Logitech MX Master, the first one. Um, I didn't really see a need to go for the second one considering this first one's been fine. Um, and I would say it's been okay. I kind of amped it up in my review when I did a review of it, I kind of said it was really, really great. Um, but it's been okay. It's not particularly, whenever I transfer stuff from a memory card, it kind of makes it stutter. It's really strange, it still does that. Um, I don't know whether it's because it's next to where my memory card reads or because it's literally just there. Um, but the battery life on it's awesome, and I do really like this side wheel for when I'm on Premiere Pro. I can just scrub through stuff, which is really useful. One of the brand new updates I got to my desk as well, which I picked this up the other day, um, was the uh, Microsoft Surface keyboard, which has been awesome. I was using an Apple keyboard for quite a long time with one of the wires on it. Um, the, basically one that looked exactly like this, just a wire going like that, but I'm trying to get rid of all the wires 
as best I can because it just looks like a mess. It was all trailing off over here and going in the back. It just looked awful. One thing I will say with it though, you, your computer does need to have uh, Bluetooth enabled. Um, so if you don't, you can pick up a little tiny little dongle like that. They're about five quid off eBay or something and that does the job. Luckily I had one laying over from my um, last setup. So I just chucked that back in and got it working. So the last thing on this side of the desk is the monitor. It's an Asus uh, MX239. It's just a full HD IPS panel. It's been really great. It has speakers built in on the left and right, which I initially needed when I first built my computer a few years back. Um, but I don't use them anymore, but I still think it's a great looking monitor. It's kind of got that zero edge thing, which looks great. And I kind of like the sun dial. The only thing that sucks about it is it's not quite high enough. So I've always had this Darren Brown book to hold it up. It's a good book, but it's also even better because it holds my monitor up to eye level, which is great. What we'll do now is move to the other side of the desk because I can't fit the camera in here as well. So, so welcome to the other side of the desk. I had to switch the camera around really quickly then. Um, on the left side, not a huge amount going on. I have a little Splatoon Amiibo because I kind of like the, the character design and it's kind of a fun game, just got a Switch and Splatoon 2 is kind of the game I always play on it at the moment. Uh, on the very ha left hand side I do have uh, some plant kind of stuff, I think it's good to have a little bit of a, a plant going on. This one's real, uh, this little one which you've probably seen in videos before is fake. Um, this was from Primark, it was a pound and this one was from Ikea and it was also a pound which is mad because this one's real and all that sort of stuff but I did have to buy the pot. Um, but yeah, really cool, really happy with that. And it just kind of adds to the overall setup. So along the back of the whole desk, I also have the LED strip, which is like a fantastic way just to add a bit of ambience to your setup. Mine was $7.99 on eBay. They're all kind of unbranded, um, but you can basically get exactly what you want out of it. They're RGB, um, and you can also get ones which have got a pure white backlight as well. Like I said, I'll try and find some links for you guys so you can at least see it, but it really doesn't matter what brand you get. Just make sure it's sticky along the back so just type in self-adhesive. I quite like the icy blue, which generally just looks pretty good along the back, but you can make it kind of go nuts if you want, or you can add just like a nice fade so it goes between the colors. Really worth getting. It comes with this tiny little remote, and uh, yeah, it just plugs into the back of the computer. You don't need an extra power slot, or at least the one I've got, you don't. And it's a really great way to add something nice to the setup. As far as my desk goes, that's everything I have on it. I try and keep it as clean as possible. I really like the kind of minimal look and all that sort of thing. Uh, the white and pine is just an easy kind of colour scheme to keep to and I really like it. So that is the entire desk setup. Um, over here on the right I do have another little shelf I guess which is full of cameras and all the stuff I use so I'll show you that very quickly now. So this is a little shelving unit which just sits behind my desk and it's basically got all my camera gear on it. I really like to um, have it out all the time so I can just quickly grab it if I need to do so. Um, so sitting on top, this is uh, what I shoot pretty much every single video with apart from what I'm shooting on right now, is the Sony a6300. I got it about a year ago and it has been pretty fantastic for me. It's got 4K built in and it does uh, 120 frames of 1080, which is like super slow motion. Um, it's a great camera, it's a tiny size, so I can fit it anywhere, and if I ever go traveling or something, it's just really nice and easy to use. Um, I've only ever really used Sony before, so that's just been my go-to camera. Um, it doesn't have stabilization built in, which is a bit of a shame, so I generally buy lenses which have got steady shot built on the inside, uh, like this one does. Uh, that's the 35mm, which I use basically 90% of the time. Going down the shelf, I've got some older cameras, um, which I'd like to say I use all the time, but the truth is I really don't. This is a Canon AE-1, which you may remember from video. Um, I enjoyed using that and I've taken it on holiday a few times. Um, the old retro cameras, like they're, they're really nice to use because they've got that real big clunk to them. If you listen to that, really nice sounds, but um, they're, they're generally really expensive. The, the cameras themselves are relatively cheap compared to what today, but the second you start buying film and getting them developed and all that sort of stuff, things just get a lot more expensive. I got some stuff here which I like to spend light with, um, prisms and stuff, which you can put in front of lenses and stuff and you get all sorts of weird effects. Uh, the next shelf down, which you can't see, but is a uh, just got some lenses. So I've got an old Canon adapted lens, uh, an old Pentax lens, and a uh, a Sigma 19mm, which I use quite a lot in videos too. I say quite a lot, I use it rarely. The last shelf is just full of chargers and stuff, so it's nothing too interesting. Um, so that's the shelf that just sits behind me, like I say, nice and easy, nice and open access. That kind of rounds off everything. Um, the room I'm sitting in is just like a second bedroom in my flat. I do really like to have art on the walls and stuff. Um, so I've got this kind of skull with the 
wolves coming out of it and some spacemen and a bear up there. Most of the artwork's by a woman called Sandra Beekman or something. I'll try and link it below. Uh, that one's not, I'll try and find the links below for that. So that kind of rounds up my everything I use at the moment. That's my 2018 setup. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed the video, maybe even hit a subscribe. Anyway, I will see you all in the next one.